Today's wildlife adventure is in the Pocosin Lakes National Wildlife Refuge, which was established in 1990 when the Conservation Fund, in conjunction with the Richard King Mellon Foundation, donated over 93,000 acres to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. The adjacent 12,000-acre Pungo National Wildlife Reserve was combined with these new refuge lands, and today the refuge encompasses more than 113,000 acres. Prior to its establishment, many acres of refuge wetlands were drained through a network of canals and ditches to expand agricultural areas. Pocosin Lakes was established to provide habitat for migratory waterfowl and other birds to protect and enhance a unique type of wetlands called Pocosin. To protect and enhance habitat for those species which are classified as endangered, threatened, or of special concern, and to provide opportunities for observation of these creatures. Pocosin wetlands are extremely flat and their natural drainage is very poor. The top layer of soil is comprised of mostly organic material or peat. This organic matter consists of leaves, sticks, and other organic debris that were once submerged in water and decomposed slowly. It probably takes over a hundred years to create even one inch of peat. Pocosin Lakes is comprised of over a hundred thousand acres of this material. Other habitat types found on the refuge include over a thousand acres of bottomland hardwood forests, 1,200 acres of agricultural farmlands, 7,000 acres of lakes, ponds, and impoundments, 800 acres of Atlantic white cedar, and 2,800 acres of cypress gum swamp. Water bodies on the refuge consist of Blackwater Rivers, Pungo Lake, Lake Phelps, and New Lake. Blackwater Rivers begin in the coastal plain, and unlike brow water systems that originate in the Piedmont or mountains, carry very little inorganic sediment. Pungo Lake is approximately 2,800 acres in size. It may have been formed by a ground fire that later filled up with rainwater. The dark water, which is caused by tannins and particles from peat and natural vegetation, prevents sunlight penetration to the bottom of the lake. Therefore, no submerged aquatic vegetation occurs in Pungo Lake. The lake is used by thousands of wintering waterfowl as a resting and roosting site. Lake Phelps is approximately 16,000 acres in size and is managed by Pettigrew State Park. The park owns the land around the lake, primarily on the north side. The refuge owns approximately four miles of shoreland on the south side. Thousands of waterfowl can be observed on the lakes during the fall and winter. New Lake is approximately 4,900 acres, of which 4,200 are owned by the refuge. Pocosin Lake support a large variety of wildlife. Over 200 species of birds, over 40 species of mammals, and over 40 species of reptiles and amphibians use the refuge habitats. The Punko unit provides wintering habitat for many species of ducks which arrive after the first full moon in November, as well as large concentrations of tundra swans and snow geese. The spring and fall migration of neotropical migratory songbirds paints the forest with a variety of beautiful songs and colors. The refuge also has the endangered red cockaded woodpecker and bald eagles. Large populations of black bears and white-tailed deer inhabit the refuge. Other mammals found here include the endangered red wolf, raccoon, gray squirrel, cottontail rabbit, marsh rabbit, bobcat, gray fox, red fox, and coyote. There are four venomous snakes, including the timber rattlesnake, cottonmouth, pygmy rattlesnake, and copperhead, and numerous species of turtles such as the yellow-bellied slider, painted, spotted, snapping, box, mud, and musk turtles. There are also a variety of frogs and toads on the refuge. In addition, North Carolina is at the northern tip of the range of the American alligator and they are occasionally seen on the refuge. The Pocosin Lakes National Wildlife Refuge lands that exist today at one time were the southern extremity of the Great Dismal Swamp. The term Pocosin is an Algonquin Indian word meaning swamp on a hill. Although the land is relatively flat, Pocosins are generally slightly higher in elevation. Organic soils in Pocosins hold water like a sponge, releasing it very slowly to surrounding areas. Historically, Pocosins remained wet for long periods of time due to the poor drainage and slow water movement. In the late 1700s, a canal was dug to connect Lake Phelps to the Scoopernog River, allowing lands north of the lake to be drained for cultivation. By the mid-1800s, canals were cut by the 
state that lowered Pungo and New Lakes by five feet, allowing greater expansion of agricultural lands. As time progressed, a large part of the Pocosin wetlands were being drained for farming, access for timber harvesting, and peat mining. This made the land more susceptible to disastrous wildfires during periods of hot, dry weather. The most recent catastrophic wildfire occurred in 1985 when 95,000 acres burned and surface elevations were reduced up to three feet in some places due to the combustion of the peat during ground fire. Today, the large inaccessible tracts of Pocosin Lakes provide habitat for the only wild population of endangered red wolves in the world and one of the largest populations of black bears east of the Mississippi River. 